Hi everybody, this is Bonnie from Backward Story, and today's topic is taking a look at the annotated fairy tales that have come out in the past year. Um, I actually received all three of these for Christmas, so they've been sitting waiting for me to do something with for a while, and I figured Fairy Tale Fortnite was the perfect place to do so. Um, I haven't had a chance to look at these too in depth yet, I just haven't had the time for it, um, but I've been able to look at them briefly, and let me tell you, they are gorgeous, just simply stunning. And no, it really doesn't matter that I already have copies sitting on my shelf. Because even though, yes, this version has really pretty gold gilding at the edges, and a really pretty design when you open it up, when you go to read the book, it's just very, very small text and words and nothing else. You just get the story and that's it. And you know, for the longest time, that was enough for me. And I love these volumes of uh, Hans Christian Andersen and the Brothers Grimm, but... I am more in love with these versions, and of course I needed three. And to me, one of the neatest new features about this edition that makes it a must-have, even if you have a bunch of versions of the Grimm's already, is that um, there are stories included that the Brothers Grimm took out of their original versions because they thought they were too much for children, or they changed lines around, um, took pieces out, and everything is back and intact um so you have stories in here that you might not have seen before such as uh four artful brothers the water of life and the white snake um and it says perhaps most noteworthy is the decision to include the tales from later editions um adult stories that were removed um when the Grimm's brothers realized that they were telling these stories to their children um so i think that's a really fascinating element that is not in the other versions of the Brothers Grimm that you have. And I really like that about this edition. Um, I'll start with the Philip Pullman version because it is not from a collection the way the other two are. For those of you who don't know Philip Pullman, he's written several books over the years. Um, he is most well known for his uh, Dark Materials trilogy. Uh, the Golden Compass was turned into a movie, um, but there are three books in the trilogy and you can tell by how battered I, they are that these are um, some of the books I read over and over and over again. Um, they're some of my favorites in the children's fantasy genre. And um, I, when I found out that Philip Pullman was going to be writing fairy tales, I really wanted to know more about it. So this is the cover. You've got, I guess it's Hansel and Gretel sitting there while black crows fly over them and it continues. And it's just very beautifully bound, which I always like in a book. And then if you read in the flap, it's going to tell you that um, Philip Pullman is retelling 50 of his favorite tales. And some of them are popular and some of them are not popular. And the important thing is that at the end of each tale, he offers a brief personal commentary, um, opening a window on the sources of the tales, the various forms they've taken over the centuries, and their everlasting appeal. So I randomly opened up to a story, and it happened to be Cinderella, which works because it's one of the more popular stories. And uh, at the end of it, you can see this is the way his annotations and sources look. It takes up a page and a half. So this is what you're going to see at the end of each fairy tale that he retells. He mentions tale type. He mentions the source. He mentions similar stories. Um, and then along with running commentary, you also have him talk about sometimes um, why he likes the story in the first place, things that he wanted to change or keep from the original. Um, so you have his internal thought process as well, which is just something that I think is really cool and helps me get to know Philip Pullman and his tastes a little bit better. Um, and it's just really interesting to see the tales retold in his writing style because I've always liked him as an author and I was really excited about this book personally. This will be reviewed more in depth over at the Book Rat during Fairy Tale Fortnite. Jocelyn Kohler, who wrote that fantastic guest post on the Disney princesses in their battle royale and who would win, is going to be coming back with a review of this book. And um, I thought her last guest post was really witty, and I look forward to seeing her thoughts on this and hope you do as well. And now these two gorgeous beauties. Um, the Annotated Brothers Grimm is new. It came out this past uh, fall, winter, around Christmas time. And I had never heard of the collection before. I didn't realize that there was already an annotated Hans Christian Andersen out. 
And there are other books in the collection as well, and they're not all fairy tale related. After Christmas, I found The Secret Garden on clearance for 75% off, and these are like $35 books if you don't get them on sale, and it was only like $3, $4 for it, and since I loved these annotated books, I decided to pick it up for that great price, um, because they're just gorgeous. If you open them up to any page, really, like these are your annotations going down the side. So that if you don't know the tales too well or the terminology, maybe you get a little more information. There are illustrations. You've got beautiful, um, oh look, there's Cinderella again. We just had that for Phil Pullman. I guess it's trying to tell me something. But you've got beautiful, um, headers that start up each chapter. Um, gorgeous typesetting, typography full length color pictures. Um, they are just absolutely stunning and gorgeous. And if you're a fairy tale fan, you're going to want to have this collection in your life simply to look at because it is so pretty and there's not much more I can say about it. You've got gorgeous illustrations from all over the world. Um, sometimes you have so many annotations and commentary that run down the entire piece. And I think they're just something that every true fairy collector should have in their collection, even if you have one or two or three or four or five, however many copies of these you already have, you need these as well. Um, and trust me, I know, when I said that I wanted two copies of um, The Brothers Grimm for Christmas and I wanted another Hans Christian Andersen, it was like, but Bonnie, don't you have those already ready? And yeah, I do but they look nothing like this and of course I have to have them again and I think you will too. So that is today's post and I look forward to talking with you again. I hope you're having a fantastic time during Fairy Tale Fortnite and have a good day. Bye!